Hi, I work as a school psychologist um, in the Department of Education here in Hawaii. Um, and the three questions that I'll answer for you today about being a school psychologist um, are how fulfilling is it, um, how much schooling it is, and what degrees you might need or that you need, uh, and how should you um, be prepared for in terms of connections with other people. Um, so as far as how fulfilling is this job, it's, it's very fulfilling. Um, you get to work with a lot of people, um, you know, not only school staff, but also interact with students and their families. Um, so it's really rewarding to be able to kind of work with all aspects of uh, a student's life. So both at home and school um, and just being a support to them. Um, and you know, you, your, your job, your role, you, you're helping people, whether it's uh, doing assessment to help um, identify strengths and areas of need for a student or whether you're doing consultation and you know you're helping to problem solve and find ways to support students um, in the classrooms so it's very fulfilling um, as far as how much schooling and what degrees you need um, school psychology is its own career track uh, there is a degree um, a school psychology degree it's called a specialist degree so it takes you about three years, um, possibly including summers. You have a one year long internship, so t um, 1,200 hours, so that's the equivalent of working full time for one school year. Um, in addition to usually about 60 to 70 um, credits um, at the graduate level. So it usually takes people about three years and, and a couple summers in between. It depends on the program. Um, I do know that here in Hawaii, they are creating a school psychology program at the uni at Chaminade University, so we will have a training program here locally soon. Uh, also, uh, individuals who have their clinical psychology doctorate um, will often uh, work in sp school psychologist positions because they're interested in working in the schools, so that's also another um, avenue, um, but you still will want to get graduate level courses in special education um, if you do pursue your clinical psychology degree. Uh, the third question, how should you be prepared for um, in terms of connections with other people? Um, really like being a school psychologist, um, you need to be comfortable with talking to people because you're, you know, you're trying to help students, you're trying to help the adults who are supporting the students, so being a people person is really helpful, but even if you're not a real sociable, like, you know, butter, you're not a social butterfly, um, if you want to help people, you just need to um, develop those skills of asking questions and, and finding out what's the problem and, and what's been done and how can I help and use your training and expertise then to impart that knowledge. Um, so. Thank you for your interest in um, school psychology. All right. Um, so what is a day in the life of a school psychologist like? Uh, well, right now we're you know in the middle of summer, um, also in the middle of a pandemic, uh, where many people are working from home and summer is really different than it normally is. So it's not your typical summer. Um, or your typical day for that matter. Uh, but the typical um, day for a school psychologist would be uh, meeting one-to-one -one with students um, to do assessments. So students might be referred um, because they're referred for evaluation because they're having um, challenges in school. So assessments will help the school team and the parents to understand the student's strengths and needs and determine you know what would be the best support for the student. So school psychologists in Hawaii will typically do the cognitive assessment um, or what people typically call IQ. Uh, and then other people from other disciplines will do other assessments like the academic assessment, you know reading, writing and math, you know um, amongst other um, skills. Um, so that's often how many school psychologists might spend their morning, would be meeting with a student when they're really fresh and ready to start the school day um, and, and do that assessment. Um, and then of course, as a school psychologist, you need to write that report. Um, so a part of the day would be spent report writing. So you know, here, like for example, you can see my laptop behind me. Um, they may be you know, spending part of the day writing um, and also uh, doing consultation, so meeting with teachers um, or other school staff um, to talk about how to support students. Um, so that in addition to meeting with school staff, um, the school psychologist may go into the classroom 
uh, and observe students and the setting to get a better feel for the setting and um, then be able to draw on our, our knowledge um, as far as how the teachers and support staff might go about supporting that student. So, you know, there's, there's not necessarily a typical day because the day can vary. Maybe some days you just test and write. Other days you save for visiting your schools and, and meeting with school staff and teachers. Uh, and then, of course, there are meetings where you attend meetings where there are school staff and parents to share results of uh, assessments uh, or to just, you know, sit around, brainstorm, and problem solve. Um, so, you know, it's sort of you have to make your own schedule, fulfill all your obligations. So day to day, your schedule may look different, but um, all the different uh, responsibilities I talked about, you know, would be found, you know, within a typical workday for a school psychologist. Right. So thank you for your interest in school psychology. All right. Bye bye.